Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today we will discuss about another coding question which is came in Nagaro coding test. So the question is shortest substring. So you have to find the shortest substring in a given string that contains all the characters of a given or. Suppose you are giving these strings, my name is Fran and other string which is RIM. So you have to find a substring in this string, my name is Fran, which contains the characters R, I and M. So these three characters should be contained in this string and you have to find the shortest substring. Here our output will be me as ever. So here you can see my name is Fran, here M, E, I, S, ever. So this contains this substring contains the r i and m characters and this is the shortest substring and this will be our output so friends we will solve this question using c plus plus language so for that we'll choose here c plus plus 14 and and first we'll write the basic formats of the c plus plus code so first has include beats standard c plus plus dot h using namespace standard so first we will write the main function here so int main and inside this main function we will write the two strings our string one was my name is front my my name is front Okay, our second string was RIM and we have to show and substring which contains this RIM characters. So here we will write a function suppose find substring and we will first these two strings S and T here. So here we will write the same function here and the return type will be string because it will return a string. So for that string find substring and insert this string s and string t. So first we will here calculate the length of the two strings. So for that you know write a variable suppose to store the length of string s we'll write s length variable and store the length of s and similarly we'll store the length of t string in the t length variable so t dot length okay now we'll write two arrays for counting the number of characters of these two strings okay so for this we'll write two arrays so first is for a string so suppose s count we'll initialize it with zero okay the length of the the length of the array will be 256 because there are 256 characters in the ASCII table. We can write this in this way as defined as defined number of number of characters. So number of characters is 256. So here we'll write the same thing. For the T string also we'll do the same thing. So here will be t count and the number of characters will be the size of the array and we'll initialize it with zero. So first thing what we'll do, we'll just count how many times a character is there in a string and we'll store the count value into the t count. So for that, we'll write a for loop and iterate it from 0 to t length so for that i equals to 0 i less than t length i plus plus 
and inside this will write account inside this will write t of i so t of i when this for loop starts our initial i value will be 0 and here i will be 0 so t of 0 so here you can see t of 0 is r so here will be r and will count the t count value and here will be r and t count of r positions will be increased by number 1 okay next we will do the same for the for this string a string for int i equals to 0 i less than s length i plus plus okay and we will do the same thing here s count and inside this we will write s of i and we will increase it so our count value of every characters will be increased if it is found in the strings and it will be stored into the s count array so next we will check using a if condition if t count if t count of s of i if t count of s of i not equals to 0 not equals to 0 and another condition is s count of s of i is less or equals to t count of s of i if these two conditions satisfied then we will increase a count value so for that we have to declare a count value here so int count equals to 0 so our initial count value is 0 and if this condition satisfied both of these conditions satisfied then we will increase the count value and next we will check if the count value if this count value is equals to equals to the t length the length of the t strings if this count value if this count value is equals to the length of the string t if this is the equal then we'll do a while loop here we'll do a while loop and we'll check s of count value s of count of s of sorry s of count of s of some variable here suppose suppose start strt start variable here and so for that we have to declare it here so suppose this int strt start so start value is initial start value is 0 and we will check s of count of s of start is greater than the t count the t count of s of start if this condition satisfied so see here start value or initial start value was 0 okay so so you can see here s of 0 value is m so similarly for here s of start start value was 0 so s of 0 value is m and we'll check the m values occurrence in the s count array is greater than the occurrence of m values in the t count array if this condition satisfied or or t count or t count of s of start or t count of s of start equals to equals to 0 if this condition satisfied or if this condition satisfied if any of this condition satisfied then we'll check here we don't know which condition satisfied so for that we'll write the write one conditions here you know any one conditions here suppose we check these conditions here when while loop execute then these conditions or these conditions may satisfied so if any of these conditions satisfied this will insert into this loop and we don't know which condition satisfied so to make sure which condition satisfied we'll check 
this this one conditions again here so if this condition satisfied then what you will do here we'll just decrease the s count value so s count of s of start value s t a r t so we'll just decrease this value and finally we will increase the start value for checking the another characters so our length of the window will be so suppose length window variable uh, so length of the window will be i minus start plus 1 and here we will check a conditions so before that we have to declare something here uh, suppose start index is suppose our start index is minus one and minimum length minimum length is int max so we'll store the max so we will store the int max value into the mean length so we'll check here we'll check here inside this if condition if the mean length is greater than the length of the window so our mean length value is into max value and our length of the window is suppose our i value is 0 and start value initial start value is 0 so 0 minus 0 that is 0 plus 1 so length of window is 1 so mean length is greater than 1 yes this is greater than 1 and then what we will do here we will just store the length of window into this mean length so we will store the length of window into the mean length mean length equals to length of window and we'll store the start value into the start index start start and we'll store the start value into the start index okay and finally what we'll do here and outside this for loop we'll return a substring in s from start index from start index and how many words the minimum number of length number of length will be returned so for that we will write here return s dot substring so substring and we will write here start index this is the start index of the substring and then we will write the and then here will be mean length so this is the length of the substring okay we'll return this and we'll get the substring so let's run this over here you can see our output is me is fr and our expected output was me is fr so friends this is the full code hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet then please subscribe it now because it will be helpful for your upcoming exams so friends thank you for watching this video